Welcome to Willow's World of DIY. I'm Willow, and today I'm going to show you guys how to calibrate a mechanical gauge set for sinking carburetors. Let's get to it. This is the ABN carburetor sink vacuum gauge set that I'm using, and I bought some 532nd vacuum line and uh, T adapter fittings. And I cut these four lines at three inches long, and these bottom three lines at five inches long. You want to make sure that you have symmetry, so you got to make sure all these hoses are the same length, otherwise it'll throw off your gauge numbers. And here you can see that the gauges are off a little bit. To put a vacuum on these lines, I just suck on the tube and then I crimp it, crimp it off with this uh, pair of pliers to maintain the vacuum. And you want to check for any leaks. If you have gauges that are dropping, uh, you have an obvious vacuum leak. So that, that will throw off your accuracy on these gauges. So make sure that you don't have any vacuum leaks. These gauges don't have any access holes to the adjuster screws. So you have to pry off the face cover uh, to remove the glass and get to the access screw. Now that we have all the basils off, I can start making the adjustments. I tap on the backing plate just to get all the needles to zero out, just in case there's any type of fluctuation. And I just use a flathead screwdriver and I, I zero them out under vacuum pressure. So right here I'm zeroing them at 30, negative 35 HG. And uh, like I said, I just tap, tap the back just to get the gauge to settle. And on this one, I actually couldn't get the gauge to adjust. This screw is just frozen, so, and it actually broke. And that's okay, um, it's a cheaper gauge set. But uh, at least the other three gauges will adjust. And so I, all, I zeroed them all out to the 35, negative 35 HG on that same gauge. If you have more than one gauge that won't adjust, then, then you have a problem. And here you can see that all the gauges are at negative 35 centimeters, centimeters of HG. Now that I have all the gauges calibrated, I can go ahead and reinstall the glass and the basils. And then I remove my clamp and release the vacuum pressure. And you can see that all these uh, gauges are zeroed pretty well.
Now I'm removing my hoses. Uh, I'm just cutting off the zip ties that I put on them uh, to make a good seal. And I keep these hoses all hooked up to the T's and just like this uh, so I can recalibrate recal the gauge at any time. Now I'm hooking up the four supplied hoses and you want to use the uh, spring clamps around each hose. And this is what it should look like with all your hoses hooked up and your gauges zeroed. Now I'm hooking up the supplied adapter fittings. Uh, these are the adapter fittings I use for a Yamaha R1 or R6. There's multiple different adapter fittings if you have a Kawasaki, Honda, Suzuki, uh, you know, I don't know, any, all the other motorcycles. And I put a vacuum on each individual line after I install the adapter fitting just to make sure I don't have any air leaks or vacuum leaks. If you have any vacuum leaks, you won't get an accurate reading when it's hooked up to the motorcycle. Now we're ready to sink some carburetors. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks for watching Willow's World of DIY. Until next time.